So I thought I'd put a quick video together for somebody that needed some help with uh, getting their text aligned. They're trying to get their text to be in a perfect circle. You'll make a circle, so they've got, they just want their text to be in a perfect circle. So right now I'm holding down Alt and Shift, and I clicked right in the middle to make a perfect circle. You can just hold down Shift and it'll make a perfect circle, but Alt makes it uh, move in and out from the middle like that. So I've got my circle there. And then here, here's the trick. You want to make sure that you click on the type tool, click and hold, and you'll get this type on a path tool. So then we'll click on that and then click anywhere on the outside of the circle on the path. And we'll start off with that. And the title, the name of their company is Vintage Studios. And studios is the word that they've kind of got tweaked out funky. So we'll type in studios. Now that's super, super tiny. We'll go ahead and it looks like they're using like a Times New Roman or something like that on there. So we'll do a Times Roman on that. Probably like a hundred point font size. So there we go. So there's our type. Um, I'm going to use the white arrow tool and you'll see there's like these little handles. You might not be able to see all the little handles around it on this screen because it's kind of... Uh, You've got that checkerboard pattern, so I'm just going to stick a white box. Let's change that to a white. So we'll stick a white box behind it, move that back in the layers. So that way, when we're on here, we can see those lines a little bit better. So in here, you'll see, if I take my white arrow direct select tool, you've got these little handles on this. Um, and if I center the text, it'll go over that little handle, which is the center point of the text and you can move that to the middle of the circle like that or you can move it to the outside of the circle and that just whichever way it's pointing is what side of the circle it's going to be on so if we want our text at the bottom here just get that about right in the middle and then another thing you can do um, let's go ahead and get this text so it's just like black text no stroke there we go okay so we've got that there another thing that you can do if to get the text lined up our, our spacing between letters is all funky so you'll probably want to come over and instead of auto uh and your character palette might be somewhere else but this is in the character palette instead of auto click optical and well, actually let's uh make sure everything's highlighted first there we go optical is going to look better than than the auto spacing so if we do an optical spacing and then it's still kind of funky in there uh, we're gonna go to type type on a path and then type on a path options and in here uh, this is where you can also uh, do some of the changes to to everything so we've got the baseline or we can go from the ascender uh, let's click preview so we see what it's doing so that's going from the top of the letters or you can go on the center line so it's perfectly centered on it uh, or the baseline which is the bottom which is kind of the default on this let's go ahead and do a center or maybe we want to do cent center whichever whichever one you want to do uh, to line you up let's go ahead and do a center on that and then you can also flip and this is just flipping it just like the uh, little tab did and when you've got the rainbow, it separates out the letters. If you skew them, you can see that these give you a bunch of different options on how things move. So like all letters are straight up and down on a stair step. Uh, gravity looks pretty good on this. Um, rainbow and gravity, I think, are exactly the same on this one. Um, but anyway, so that click OK, and then you're good to go. And if you want to do another one of those, you can just copy so I just hit command C for copy and then command F and that's a paste in place so it pasted another copy right over the top of my first one and now I can just whoops I'm kinda goofing this up I wanna grab the the center bar here and move the center bar to the top and maybe we'll I've got way too many layers I guess not too many layers, but I'm going to lock them down so I'm not messing with 
the other ones. Anyway, um, so now if you grab this little guy, I can go Studios there, highlight it and do Vintage, and then font, uh, type on a path. That's right, type on a path, type in a path options, and maybe we'll do Descender on this, or center if you really center would probably be the best option for all of this right here to be lined up so if I go to my studios one and select that type type on a path options uh, center let's make sure we preview that sweet looks good and then we could change our spacing out a little bit so it's like 15 let's do 36 sure 36 looks better but anyway that will get your everything all your text into a perfect circle without having like the funky warping of the letters so anyway hope this tutorial helps mm -hmm.